Welcome to the station, I'm Skyland Shore, and this is going to be my first impression review on the game Total War Battles Kingdom. FreeMMOStation.com If you are a fan of the Total War series, you may be disappointed in what this game has to bring to the table. It is very different, and honestly in an entirely different genre. It's more fitting of an MMORTS genre, similar to Clash of Clans or Game of War. Though personally, I have a bias towards Clash of Clans versus Game of War, and coming from that, I can say that Total War Battles gets it right, even though it is more of a standard MMORTS versus something more unique like Clash of Clans. So you are going to have time sinks where you need to destroy resources, where you need to actually build things and you have hours to wait. At least you do have a lot of choice with that. You can choose to farm all the resources within an area or some individual resources so that you can quickly do something while you're on the PC at one time. So for the most part, I think that all the usual MMORTS design philosophies in this game are actually just really well done, well polished, and it doesn't seem very greedy of a game. Though do note that there are some pay options to that you can skip and level up faster. Whether you consider that pay to win or not is up to you. However, very first impressions of this game shows that it has a very intriguing, at least, mission system. It's not as arcade as Clash of Clans, it's almost got a little bit of roleplay to it, but the mission system and the campaign system really emphasizes the battle mechanics, which is Total War's specialty. So the battles, the campaigns, and the missions are actually a really huge component of the game, and I think it adds a lot to the flow. Normally in MMORTSs, there's just a huge amount of waiting. You log on, you do your thing, you get off, that's pretty much it. Battles are instant, or building is instant if you pay money. In this game, I really enjoy all of the mechanics together because there's just, well, a really nice game flow and game feel to it. Whenever you're doing battles, uh, in between so, you are actually using those resources that you gained, or the new territory, or you're actually maintaining your terrain, such as maybe your dams will break, raising and lowering terrain, mining out quarries. Nothing is preset, so you can do whatever you want. There's actually a lot of creative choice in this game, strategically and tactically, within the battles. So, in between all the strategy of building up and managing your city, you do have battles, and I really enjoy that. Now, the battles, they're not as epic or grandiose as Total War is normally known for, but there is still some tactics within it. And also, strategy because you have to pre-plan and build up maybe different artifacts within your churches. You have churches, you have artifacts. These artifacts give you bonuses and abilities that you can use during the fights. If you want to go for maybe a ranged battle sort of scenario, if you want to have a mostly ranged platoon, then what you want is you want to have the bonuses or the abilities that give ranged attack damage and then make other units vulnerable to ranged damage. If you want to go mainly melee, then you also want to get the abilities that make melee stronger, add dodge bonuses or whatever. So there is strategy outside of combat, but then when you actually get into the combat, there's not too much that you can do, but there is a little bit. But definitely way more than what we're used to in considering MMORTSs. It's no clash of clans, but there's a little bit of an interesting infantry melee combat going on. So you have these three rows, it does use a row system, and there's a charge system. So your, your units and their units are going to both charge together, and it's a little bit interesting. Kind of reminds me of Mario Kart with the uh, Go system. Whenever you hit on the gas at a certain time, you get a little bit of speed boost. It's pretty much just that. At the, just the right time during your charge, if you command your units to fully charge, if you do it just right and time it just right, you get a damage bonus. Other than that, and after that, you have to use your abilities when you want to on the units that you need to. And remember, there is sort of like a rock, paper, scissors system where you can have some units that are strong against others and weak against others so you might want to call or taunt because some units can taunt some units can take aim and fire from across the field but for the most part there really isn't a board game mobility it's just pretty much either on or off you're either attacking that platoon or not attacking that platoon so not too much strategy within the fights but there is a little bit of tactic but considering all things about the gameplay yeah the battles are lackluster compared to total war and the, and the mmo aspect isn't as grand or epic or as easy to get into or intuitive as other mmorts's but putting it all together because it does have a really interesting single player component to it. Its city building is unrivaled within MMORTSs. And its battle system is really gorgeous, really good looking, which you would expect a Total War. So putting all those things together makes for a really fun game experience, which normally you're not going to get out of this genre. And lastly, I just want to say that the game is incredibly polished. I mean, I haven't seen any real glitches of any kind. It runs flawlessly. It looks really good. I mean, for this kind of game, normally we get just 2D art, and it's a blessing, really, if it's even animated at that. So this game, fully realized in 3D, that just also looks really good, and it plays very well. Transitioning from battle sequences to loading new screens, to loading new territories, building new buildings, all of it's just running flawlessly, and I think Total War Battles Kingdom is probably the single most polished MMORTS out there.
Now, while I still greatly love Clash of Clans, I think that is an amazing addition to the MMORTS genre. I think Total War Battles for the PC, for a full-fledged PC MMORTS, it's not a browser game, you download this game, it's definitely beaten everything else. Thanks for watching, I'm Skyland Shore with Free MMO Station. Like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing our videos coming, and if you do, we'll see you again next time. Two!